those ordinary days Raw edges, old routines It's enough to bury your dreams I was trying to keep mine a secret But thank you very much to one of the national newspapers For wishing me a happy birthday for tomorrow I, of course, was a war baby. My, my parents took one look at me and started fighting. Radio I got even better jokes than that later on, you'll be delighted to hear. And here's a card that comes from Julian Carey. <laughs> One of my ten bots is missing. You a meat skewer. There's a hole in my ground sheet. There's a hole in my ground sheet. Oh, you're a big help. Uh, now, there's a familiar word. Why can't Dad sleep in the tent? Because he suffers from rheumatism. If he doesn't now, even the idea of a night under canvas will set it off. What if it rains? You'll have more than your comfort to think about. Perhaps Donna's still got one of David's old rubber cot sheets. Come on. I can't keep out the damp and... Oh, Mark. Yes, the country, it looks like it'll be fine and dry with a reasonable amount of sunshine. There's rather a question mark, though, when we look at tomorrow, because at least in the southeastern corner of the country, it could begin to turn a little bit less settled, and there is the chance of uh, possibly one or two thundery showers. Around some of the coasts, it will be a little bit cooler. Doesn't sound too good. No. If it does rain, can you handle it? Right now, where's the uh, checklist? Oh, uh... <laughs> wow. They're fireproof, aren't they? They're something proof. Um, earplugs. Dressing table. Foam rubber. Eh? Hey? Those little doobries. Oh. Shoes. Racing suit. What's that? Light group. Right, uh, gloves. Well, this should see us through. Well, have we room? Well, no one's going to sleep under the stove. <laughs> You'd be surprised. Chalk. What? For the timekeeping. Do I have to think of everything? Keys. Look, I'll go. I'll go. You haven't mastered the parking yet. I can double park. Any idiot can do that. Any idiot can get caught. Well, anyone think it was her doing the race? Without her, I doubt anyone would be. <laughs> Jen. Oh. Come on, take this. Oh, you bet. There's something I want to say. What? Tomorrow. I won't take any unnecessary risks, really, Ray. I'm not on about that. If you have to take risks to win, take them. Forget about me, the kids, Ken, everything. Just put your foot down and go, right? We haven't been through all this sweat and aggro for you to go soft now. You said once, behind that wheel was... Like being in someone else's skin. Fine, stick to that. When you get out there on that track, you've got to be a competitor, just like the others. You start thinking like a wife and mother and you're done. Oh, um, hang that on the hook over the sink and the bag goes in the cupboard. Are we all fit? <laughs> well, it won't get a merit badge on comfort, but we'll have a go. Maybe it wasn't such a good idea going down the night before. No, she tells me. <laughs> Nothing from Ken, I suppose. Uh, Tell me again he'll be there, will you? He'll be there. Look, when we go for the car, he'll act like nothing's happened. Let's hope I can do the same.
us this weekend. Oh dear. It's unsettled again. A few sunny periods if we're lucky, I'm told. Come on, woman, let's go. All set. Come on, darling, you go with Daddy and then you're going in Jen's car. Bye-bye. Right, Nigel? Rog. Where's your tent? Uh, smashed. Sleeping bag? Likewise. Change your clothes? You're joking. I'll see you at Ken's, right? Yeah. Boy, stay cool. You want us to make our own way down there or go with them? We? Yeah, well, you know. <laughs> we'll come along for the ride. No extra charge. No ride either. Sorry. Catch one with them, they'll have space. Some extra tools I've got together. Yeah, well, so I'll say you'll see them down there then, right? This man is looking out for people having their first taste of new Twix ice cream. He knows after they bite through milk chocolate into cool vanilla ice cream, they won't expect crumbly biscuits. Watch out for new Twix ice cream. A pot! Or over the living room carpet! Yes. Phone Swinton for a household quote. You'll find them a lot more helpful. They say I'm going to be amazed by Dishwater Fairy's cleaning power. So go on, amaze me. Look closely. Only one of these plates has been washed in Fairy. But they're both clean. Ah, correction. They both look clean. But is there dirt the eye can't see? This disclosing fluid will show us. Good grief, what's that? Those are almost invisible residues that sometimes get left behind by starchy foods like potatoes and cereals. So the Fairy plate really is cleaner. Indeed. Ah, but does it still take care of my fine china, too? Of course. Well, I am... Uh, amazed? Amazed. Fairy cleans cleaner than the eye can see. I couldn't believe that Pampers could be beaten for skin dryness until I found a new nappy. And then I found that these Pampers baby dry were brilliant, unbelievable. As a nursery deputy and Anna's mum, I feel that skin dryness is very important to me. In the morning, before I use Pampers baby dry, she's generally a bit clammy, you know, a bit wet. Introducing new Pampers Baby Dry. Only Pampers Baby Dry has this unique baby dry layer that lets wetness right through and then turns white again, helping to keep baby dry. Every morning since I've been using Pampers Baby Dry, she has been dry and her skin's been very soft and dry as well. It's so unbelievable, it really is. I think it's the, it's the children in, in my nursery wearing Pampers Baby Dry nappies. We are, we're talking about dry bottoms all over the place, all day. They've been wonderful. New Pampers Baby Dry for the driest, happiest babies. Can you make regular savings on your washing powder? Now I can, with the new refill tin from Ariel. 
It keeps the powder dry and lasts ages. So you can keep on using refills, which will save you money. Time and time again. The new aerial refill tins. Think of them as money boxes for your powder. Water glass. Look, I've got a cracked windscreen. A Rover 216. We'll send someone out to you. Or you're quite near one of our branches. What about insurance? We should be able to bill them direct. Uh, I also need a screen for an H-Ledge Cavalier, a 92 Mercedes 190, an 88 Volvo 740. If you need glass for any car, any place, absolutely any time, no problem, sir. <laughs> you ought to call Autoglass. The secret of our new day-long shadow is silk, a unique base and shadow combination that lasts all day. Look beautiful with Rimmel Silk's day-long shadow. Any breakers for a 1013 on the A20 South? On the A20 South for a 1013, any breakers? Copy, copy, breaker for the 1013, take it up one. Roger. Yeah, breaker from a 14. We're heading south on the A20 after a 1013 on traffic, Roger. Clean and green, Roger. Stay on the main drag, you'll have no problems. Ask what the weather's doing. Do me a favour, Mum, he's only a couple of miles away. Ask him! Breaker from the 1-4. If you're still copying, what's the weather doing your way? Hey, you lot, have a look at this. You never did make the Boy Scouts, did you? Well, I don't get it. What's the knack? It would help if you put it up properly, wouldn't it? Well, 
Vegan, vegetarian. No animal produce in any shape or form. Thank you. Well, what about his shoes? He's not going to eat them, is he? <laughs> no, it's the same difference, though. They're made of leather. <laughs> sure, sizzle. Hey! Animal, vegetable, or... Leather substitute. No <laughs> okay. kid. Well, I'll eat my hat. Not if it's leather, you won't. No. Oh. <laughs> oh, cool. Oh, beef. <laughs> Listen, you know Ken Lark better than anyone. You think he'll show tomorrow? Just because we work with the geezer 12 hours a day doesn't mean you know him, you know? You think we can handle the girl between us? I know, sweet. I know that car inside out. Good man. Driving at something else, though. That's his thing, yeah? Advising her? No, I'm not too much got grub? Yep. Yeah, yeah, thanks, yeah, we're okay. Yeah, make room for the cook, then. Mechanic. <laughs> well, all I can say is, if you can change a wheel as quickly as you can rustle this up, we're in business. I've had right. rather more practice at it. <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, a toast. Yes? No, oh, no. Yeah, kids. Oh, cheers. To the driver. To the driver. To the That'll be Ken. No cheap jibes, right? It's not locked. <laughs> there was an old woman who lived in her shoe. <laughs> Ken about. He's not staying at the track tonight. Oh, I'll catch up with him with the checkered flag then. With my hotel up the road. I like a bit of five-star comfort the night before a race, is there? He's stopping at home tonight, actually. Wow. Oh. We're expecting him tomorrow. First thing. Seeing his name on the car, like old times. Different driver, though. Quite. Enjoy your meal. Why did you say that? What? What if Ken doesn't show tomorrow? He will. Don't go on. <sighs> Anyone fancy running through the stuff for tomorrow? Yeah. Mm. Right. First off, Donna signs on at race control. Then we roll the car down to the scrutineers. After the scrutineers, we wait for the practice call. Then we drive the car to the marshalling area. And practice lasts 20 minutes. Then we bring the car back here, and Donna goes back to race control to find out what grid position her practice time's got. Well, what next? We wait for the race call. Nigel. Nigel. Roger. I can't believe they've actually made it. They haven't yet. Nigel. Raj. I never really took it seriously, not really. You did your bit. No more. Nigel? Raj. Do you think she can win? Have you seen some of those other cars? That's what I mean. Nigel? Yeah. Tomorrow, will you show me what to do with the car and things? Roger. Good night. Down and guns.
competitors for the Ocean Air Club and Sports Car Race to sign on at the race control office. That's competitors for the Ocean Air Club and Sports Car Race to sign on at the race control office. Thank you. I just saw someone else doing it. Attention Paddock. Will the owner of Ferrari Boxer number 517 move his car before we do? Once again, well into the 70s, although perhaps a little bit on the chilly side, uh, near to some of the coasts, especially the east coast. Now the question mark is over the more southern part of England. Oh, it does look as if the clouds are all bubbled up to the course today. And uh, there's just a chance of some showers breaking out before the day is out. Time we weren't here. Right. David, how's you go? Oh, there we are. Okay. Message for the paddock. Come on, you kids. You want to change now? Yeah. Mick? Yeah? Now. Oh, yeah. So what's first? You should tell me. What about tyres? Wet weathers or slicks? Your guess is as good as mine. Is that all it boils down to? Without luck, yeah. Look, this much I can tell you, right? If you use the wrong tyres, you could blow the race before you start, all right? So why don't we scout around and see what the competition's doing? Right, kid, isn't she? We like to think so, yeah. Nigel? Attention, Paddock. Message for Bill Hughes, number 33, Formula 4. Will he please return the ring to the tomorrow, apparently without permission? Uh, that's a message for Bill Hughes, number 33, Formula 4. Will he please return the ring to the tomorrow? Hiya. Fantastic, isn't she? Are those the tyres you'll be using? Lark sent you over to ask that. Oh, he hasn't arrived yet. And uh, you don't know which ones to use? Just wanted a second opinion. Good try, sweetheart. Wally. Attention Paddock, competitors for race three, Wendy Wall's special saloon car championship race, sign on at race control. Attention Paddock, attention Paddock, free 1957 saloon, to the marching area please. Free 57 saloons to the marching area please. Attention Paddock, attention Paddock, 357 civilians in the Right. Hey, it's this way, is it? <laughs> you may be looking for a car that's small and practical. But you still want a car that feels luxurious. Well, now you've found it. Because while the Clio is certainly small, it's perfectly formed. Girl. Papa? The Renault Clio.
Multi Cheerios. Four different crunchy whole grain O's that make a delicious symphony of taste the whole family will love. New Multi Cheerios. Can you make regular savings on your washing powder? No, I can. With the new refill tin from Ariel. It keeps the powder dry and lasts ages. So you can keep on using refills, which will save you money. Time and time again. The new Ariel refill tins. Think of them as money boxes for your powder. offers fast and effective relief from your aches and pains. Neurofen breaks through pain. Life's too short to sit and watch. If my hair gets in a mess, so what? I know what'll fix it. Vidal Sassoon Wash and Go. Sarol shampoo and conditioner in one. Unlike ordinary shampoo, it completely conditions every strand, every time. I can feel the difference instantly. My hair feels really soft and just falls back into shape. Vidal Sassoon Wash and Go. Great hair, no fuss. Oh, when you can't marry up what you want, when you want it. With five sections, the Thompson Directory is bound to know. Pepper Army. It's a bit of an animal. Attention, Paddock, champion of France, for the full 60. Show me the red line, please. That's champion of France. Shouldn't we start her up? The is running on okay? Look, what did Ken say to do? Well, he's not here, is he? So we've got to decide for ourselves. Well, you're the expert, mate. <clears throat> yeah, well, uh, look, tune the way she is, right? It'd uh, probably do more harm than good. Well, better wait till the practice, yeah? Yeah, well, supposing she's damp and doesn't start at all. Well, suppose we stop supposing and get on. You all signed on? Yep. So what's next? Um, come on. Don't rush me. People are going somewhere. Maybe it's for the practice. No, no, it's not till later. Because now it's the... Um... Scrutineer. Bill. Thank you. 
Just try it a little quicker. After six laps, come into the pit. Come in. I'll have checks to run. This will be a signal. Okay? Yeah. How long do I stay in for? I'll let you back out for the last four laps or so. Remember, if you don't build the speed up slowly, you blow the engine. And here come the Wendy Wolves special saloons for their 20 minute practice session. This all important practice which will define their positions on the grid. control and find out. Get the hood off. Find the jack. I want all these wheels off. Now. Go on. Clear off. That's easy. You've got the grid positions for the special cylinder. How long will it 
be. About ten minutes. Thank you. even if you don't get on the front line of the grid. <sighs> What's Ken doing? <laughs> you may well ask. Second row. Second? That's terrific. Yeah, but Hershen's in the first row. He's got pole position. So? So I'm still behind him. You said yourself there was no one clicker off the grid. What are you doing all this for? She went like a rocket. So how come you didn't get pole position? A man's impossible. Oi, you. I've got a name, you know. Take this, get a replacement. Well, where do I go? You've got a tongue in your head, haven't you? Oh, have we time? As long as you don't waste it, we have. Get yourself down to the driver's briefing. You go down to the start line, time the red light, so we know how long it's on before the green. Take a stopwatch. light yeah it's on for around six seconds right right but it goes out before the green one comes on so you only have to keep your eyes on the red one yeah. i've checked it with ken he says the same well well all competitors for race three when you win special saloon cars please go to the assembly area now your race is For a total newcomer. And what more, a lady named Donna Hewitt, a housewife from London. She's actually got two kids. When you get to the back of the track, find yourself a quiet moment and do a practice start. Right? Right. We have set the tongues wagging in the paddock this morning. Well, we'll give you the rest of the bit later, but now the cars are preparing to get off on their final warming up. And what a champion's race we're going to have here this afternoon. There's David Enders, and next to him, Ginger Marshall. Alan Hirschner being given a push start there. He's transferred for it. 
50 seconds. Keep your eyes on that red light. When you pull off, don't spin the wheels. around last night, Mum. Uh, one or two. Yuck. You're gonna need a hand. Oh, is that an offer? Thanks. Here's the flash. What's wrong with this? Race ya. You're on. Even in water, flash is faster on this tough, greasy stuff. Come on, give it some welly. How did you do that? Go on. You've done this before. That's great, Mum. I'll use flash after my party. What party? Flash. It cleans greasy grime in half the time. Persil Colour is the only detergent endorsed by these big high street names. Because Persil Colour can wash out stains without leaching out colours. That's why. Hello, it's the police. Hello, officer. Can I help? I'm looking for the missing treasure. What's this? That's my treasure. My new fairy Excel. Why is it a treasure? It's even milder than my old fairy. What's milder? Well, not just soft. It's softer. That's what milder means. Your hands feel very milder. Do they? And there's a missing treasure. You've got me red-handed, officer. But you haven't got red hands, Mummy. Now hands that do dishes can feel soft as your face with mild green fairy liquid. A Swinton branch in the moonlight. How romantic can you get?
Take her on the bed. 
Pretty good race, I think you'll agree, Peter. Absolutely. What's happening now? What's Mummy doing? Well, this is where they give a cup to the man who's won. See? Let's have some applause, ladies and gentlemen, because it was a tremendous battle. And the man who finished third, Ginger Marshall. So well done, fellas. Now, we're waiting for uh, Donna Hewitt. Where's Donna Hewitt? I've got a feeling that she doesn't actually realise that she's won her class. Class? Uh, first ever race. Her category of car. What? You won your class! You won your class! Murder, baby. Come on, go, 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 go. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, Get the car down to the grid. Eh? She'll do the lap of honour in the circuit car. You take the mini. Well, don't you want to do it? You can drive, can't you? Donna, come and say hello. Donna, you can hear from the applause that they were pretty impressed. Had you realised that you'd won the class? Uh, no, I had no idea. All right, no idea. What do you think of motor racing? It's just amazing. Have you enjoyed it? Yes. What do you think the family will think of it? I don't know. I, I, I... Well, now, look, obviously, Donna is feeling a bit overcome by this amazing performance. I think it's time to do the lap of honour. So, if the winners would like to go off on their lap of honour on the Brands Capri, then uh, we can all say congratulations, well done. And I hope that you on South Bank, ladies and gentlemen, will give the traditional salute to the winners of this race from your car horn. I'm sure they'll do us proud. Nice to see you, Ken. Skating on black, black ice Raw edges 